So, students, coming to part 3, after considering the special features of enzyme catalyzed reaction, we shall study the role of enzymes in the process of digestion and we shall also consider some application of enzymes as the diagnostic aids and briefly review the enzyme related metabolic disorders and application of enzymes. Coming to digestive enzymes, they are a group of enzymes that break down polymeric macromolecules present in the food into smaller building blocks in order to facilitate their absorption in the body. Digestive enzymes are found in the digestive tract of animals including human beings and in the traps of carnivorous plants which trap the insects and digest. They aid in the digestion of food which is trapped inside and similarly they also help the digestion of the food inside the cells especially in the lysosomes. Digestive enzymes are also produced by microorganisms. They are secreted outside the cell wall with the objective to derive low molecular weight nutrient molecules from the complex substrates. The role of digestive enzymes depends on the nature of enzyme. Proteases and peptidases split proteins into small peptides and amino acids. Lipases split fat into fatty acids and the gly glycerol molecule. Amylases split carbohydrates in such a way that the starch, sugar and the glucose is formed. Cellulases which are not found in human system, they break down again the cellulose into glucose and oligosaccharides. Nucleases split nucleic acids into nucleotides. If we consider the digestion of food in human digestive system, the digestive enzymes or diverse specificities are secreted in the human digestive tract to achieve maximum breakdown and maximum utilization of the ingested food. The main sites of digestion are oral cavity, the stomach and the small intestine. The digestive enzymes are secreted by different exocrine glands including salivary glands which are present in the oral cavity. They produce an alpha amylase enzyme called as tylene. Gastric mucosa in the stomach produces a proteolytic enzyme called as pepsin. Secretory cells in the pancreas secrete amylases, trypsin and chymotrypsin. Amylase acts on starch whereas trypsin and chymotrypsin act on protein. It also produces lipase which hydrolyzes fat. Mucosal cells in brush border of small intestine secrete oligo and disaccharide for breakdown of oligosaccharides to simple sugars and peptidases for hydrolysis of polypeptides to amino acids. Now coming to some enzyme related metabolic disorders. As we have already seen all metabolic reactions including build up of new tissues, removal of uh, waste material, conversion of food to energy, everything is controlled by enzymes. Any disturbance in the synthesis or functioning of a particular enzyme will lead to metabolic abnormalities. Such situations may arise due to hereditary and they are described as inherited metabolic disorders. Most people with inherited metabolic disorders have a defective gene that results in an enzyme deficiency. In most inherited metabolic disorders, a single enzyme is not either not produced by the body or it is produced in a form that does not work. The missing enzyme is like an absentee worker on the assembly line. Depending on that enzyme's job, its absence means toxic chemicals may build up or an essential product may not be produced or an essential nutrient is not utilized. Galactosemia or lactose intolerance. This is because of the impaired breakdown of sugar lactose by lactase and it leads to jaundice, vomiting and liver enlargement after breastfeeding or the formula feeding by newborn. Next disorder is maple syrup urine disease. Deficiency of an enzyme called BCKD causes buildup of amino acids in the body. Nerve damage results and the urine smells like maple syrup. 
phenylketonuria, PKU. Deficiency of the enzyme PAH results in high levels of phenylalanine in the blood. Mental retardation results if the conditions are not recognized. The next in the order is glycogen storage diseases. Problems with sugar storage may lead to low blood sugar levels, muscle pain and weakness. Now coming to management of inherited metabolic disorders. The essential genetic defect causing the condition cannot be corrected, but the management follows few general principles. Number one, reduce or eliminate the intake of any food that cannot be metabolized properly. For example, lactose free milk or vegetable milk for lactose intolerance. Second approach is replace the enzyme or other chemical that is missing or inactive in order to restore the metabolism as close to the normal as possible. The third approach, remove the toxic products of the metabolism that accumulate due to the metabolic disorders. The treatments may include such measures as special diets that eliminate certain nutrients, take enzyme replacement or others, other supplements that support metabolism and treat the blood with chemicals to detoxify the dangerous metabolic byproducts. The enzymes also play important role in diagnosis, therapeutics and also in industry. Level of certain enzymes in the blood or serum are of diagnostic importance. For example, serum GOT, serum GPT ratio is an indicator of liver dysfunction and serum lactic dehydrogenase pattern that is serum LDH pattern is an indicator in myocardial infarction. Then rapid diagnostic kits like glucometer, they are based on specific enzyme reactions and their display in the form of a color. Enzymes can also be used therapeutically as digestive aids. Enzymes find many important applications in industry such as amylase is used for sizing in textile industry, papain is used in food industry as tenderizing agent for meat and glucose isomerase is used in the production of high fructose corn syrup. Enzymes are also used in cosmetics and detergent sectors. So students, we have so far learned about the function of enzymes, the mode of enzyme action, the role of enzymes in digestion and also how the enzymes are of therapeutic importance and how these can be indicators of certain disorders. We have also seen the metabolic disorders arising due to the enzymes.